Welcome to today's National Junior Honor Society induction. I would like to offer my congratulations to all of you for achieving this honor. The National Junior Honor Society is a student recognition program that is found in schools in every state, as well as more than 70 countries. Students are recognized for overall academic achievement as evidenced by a minimum grade point average requirement. National Junior Honor Society also recognized students for a required amount of community service and leadership, both of which are valuable and important traits for middle school students to exhibit. As you know, this year, the essays took the place of the community service. You have exhibited these important traits and have shown yourselves to be well-rounded individuals. National Junior Honor Society also gives students an understanding of the basics of what is involved in National Honor Society at the high school level. We hope that each of you today have aspirations of becoming members of National Honor Society in high school also. Mrs. Bobek is your eighth grade counselor and our National Junior Honor Society advisor. She has been instrumental in the application process as well as the selection and recognition of new members. She has done a great job and I'd like to give Mrs. Bobek some recognition at this time. Thank you, Mrs. Bobek. There are five characteristics that National Junior Honor Society recognizes. The first is scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. For human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligent, diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Scholarship. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school and in taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful, and substantive charge to each of our members. Leadership. Service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talent to the creation of a better tomorrow. Service. Citizenship. Citizenship is the obligation each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives, citizenship. And character. Character is the force within each individual that distinguishes one person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain with the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action and striving daily to make the right choice. 
The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others by demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, and caring, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. At this time, I will be introducing our new 2021 inductees. So when I call your name, you may come up, grab a pen to sign the book, receive your certificate, and meet Mr. Way for a picture. Okay, ready? Danica Banda. Ainsley Brill. Nathan Chittam. Hayden Feathers. Rachel Friends. Cameron Gale. Abigail George. Catherine Gerkins. Cole Grinson. Sarah Hudson. Allison Hunt. Asika Kalabala. National Junior Honor Society pledge with me. If you could stand up while we do this, we'll make it official. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing, to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character, to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader and a good citizen, and to give up myself freely, in service to others, 
In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Junior Honor Society. Congratulations, everyone. All right, thanks again to Mrs. Bobeck for organizing everything. Congratulations once again for all of your achievements and all those five characteristics that we mentioned. Um, as eighth graders, you're in your last quarter of your middle school career. Hopefully, we're going to finish strong, and then you guys will be moving on to high school where we're sure you're going to be very strong contributors to the high school in whatever areas that you choose to uh, focus on in the high school. So congratulations once again, and that is the end of our ceremony. Thank you.